Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On August 20th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung signed a consortium agreement for public delivery app operation with representatives of related enterprises including NHN Peiko. The province has selected the cities of Paju, Hosung, and Osan for trial operations of this app, which will be introduced in October. With the signing of this agreement, the realization of the provincial delivery app will be accelerated significantly. Kyungi Province recently initiated the establishment of an investment fund, tentatively named Kyungi Technology Independence Fund, amounting to 100 billion Korean won. This fund, which is the first such initiative of the current Kyungi administration, will be used to finance SMEs that have the potential to develop industrial materials, parts and equipment and to promote localization and industrial competitiveness in these fields. On August 24th, the provincial government signed an agreement with the Kyungi Business and Science Accelerator for general project management, as well as with four investment enterprises for actual operation of the fund. Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung has asked private general hospitals in the province to cooperate in securing beds for severe COVID-19 cases. During an informal meeting held on COVID-19 responses with private general hospital heads on August 21st, Governor Lee stated that current conventional systems are being taxed to the limit in accommodation and treatment of patients. He stressed the pressing need to secure additional beds and medical personnel especially for severe cases. He then asked the participants to actively cooperate in securing such resources. Continuing its efforts of the spring semester, Kyungi Province will also supply middle and high schools in the nation with online educational contents free of charge during the fall semester. These contents are available to all school teachers nationwide through a simple application process through the province's lifelong education service website. Kyungi Province has been operating an industry academia cooperation project in which college students develop video advertisements for SMEs sponsored by the province. Overseen by the Korea Kyungi Do Company, this project has resulted in a production of exceptional videos that will now be featured on cable TV. The objective of this project is to provide SMEs with opportunities to advertise their products through media channels while helping students gain commercial production experience through collaboration with SMEs. The Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services recently introduced bakery products made with beans. The products, including macaroons and tarts, are made using methods developed by the Institute and involve the processing of locally produced beans with enzymes before grinding. Currently, seven bakeries are producing bean products using these methods thanks to know-how transferred from the Institute. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently cracked down on illegal business activities at summer resorts including mountain valleys, rivers and campsites and uncovered a total of 58 related violations. These included the illegal occupation of resort spaces and operating guest houses and eateries without permits. All violators were sent to prosecution. This crackdown was conducted in 16 popular mountain valleys as well as in a number of local stream areas that were not included in previous investigations. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.